I'll pay them on her way out the front door, honestly. She ate at least, though. So maybe the cook is a bad cook. Can I cheat the cook skills? Because I don't want her food poisoning everybody. Um, Let me see. How would I mess with her skills? I'm curious what her cooking skills is. Is that's why she made some bad food? If the bad food's in the fridge, I want it out of my house. No, that food was good. We had some outstanding French toast. He could just go eat some outstanding French toast. The minute he walk in the door, he's so hungry. Eat some French toast. It's outstanding. So I don't know what disgusting food she ate that made her so sick then. And I also wanted to get them a kitchen table. I had made like a nice carpet and everything, you guys. And like, I nerd raged, essentially. Pretty much because I got annoyed that um that we missed an opportunity to like go snitch on folk. And it was basically like you can't snitch on nobody till the next day. And I was like, what? Wait, nah, I need to snitch all day, every day. See, there's the carpet I made. So at least the carpet got saved when I quit. Okay, so I don't know why there's another housekeeping service. There's a housekeeping service cheer. I don't even know what that's about. I'm guessing that's for the maid to sit when she's not cleaning, so she's not just standing places. I'm guessing. I'm not sure if that's the case. But, uh, yeah, I'll put one in. Opposite end of the table because, you know, they have strife with each other now. Like, their relationship is not good no more. But we'll put some pretty, um, uh, stuff in the middle of their table to make it seem like they do love each other still. Even though we know they don't. <laughs> I mean, they love each other, but they mad at each other. Because he knows she a criminal and he think it wrong now all of a sudden. And she's like, I know you a snitch. And I might have to put you in a ditch. You know, it's a little, it's a little complicated. Her fun is up now, though. That was important. And her logic is good for now, but she needs to work on that. So, I think I put in the study your skills online mod, but I don't know how it works because I haven't tested it yet. Study skills online. Choose skill. Um, well, obviously just logic. I wonder if this affects your fun or not. Oh, she's about to go throw up. Okay. Oh, you put away all the food? Thank you. I'll put this one away myself, though. Oh. Oh, I can't. You're gonna go do that for me, then. So, we got this other cheer as well. So, let's see. The maid service cheer isn't working, though. And the maid isn't... Or is she? The maid is going to the chair. No, she's cleaning the table. Or he. I said she, but I meant he, though. He's exhausted. He's gonna go to the bathroom, go to bed. She's going back to bed, too. I told her to get him to the computer and study, though. Like, I'm gonna just let her play chess, because it'll bring up her logic, and she'll have some fun. And she's gonna need that for work. And she works for four hours. Bedtime is not an option for you. There you go. Now the food's in the fridge. He already had, like, a long morning of snitching. He wants to solve a case. I'm definitely going to send him out just so he can work on his job performance some more. Uh, like, you can do stakeout and, like, work on his logic. So we're going to do a stakeout when he gets some sleep. We'll probably do stakeouts, um, like, at night. Because it's already afternoon now. But I don't want to wait till tomorrow morning because I'm hoping tomorrow morning we'll get a new case. Yeah, so she's just going to work on her logic until it's time for her to go to work. She still wants to go to China. Like I said, we, we did want to internationally rob some people. I still might do that. But for now, I'm just going to fast forward until it's time for her to go to work. Okay, so at least I was right about the cheer. The maid is just chilling in the butler's old room on the service chair. Just staring at the bed, has nothing to do. The uh, the chef just stands in the kitchen because the light tells her to be there. She getting called in for work right now, so I'm gonna get her off the computer. She was close to getting another logic skill. We might work on logic at work if we can. Practice. I listen. To, oh, study the family. She needs to do that. Study the family. I want to like bring up her job performance. Like, I'm I'm sure like uh. 
that she'll get promoted soon, but, you know. But, yeah, like, her study, her family literature is bad. In fact, we'll just have her work hard. She needs to work hard. I don't even think we gave her the work hard stuff. And let me see if we can give her more stuff at work to help her get promoted faster. Um, Office Hero. Kind of feel like she needs more points to get the stuff we need then. So, I don't think it's going to happen now. Yeah, she definitely needs the multitasker. She needs, like, um, there was another one that's for your job that she don't have, apparently. And does she have the hard worker? She doesn't have the hard worker. At least she's on her way to work, so she's definitely gonna be stressed out, um, at work. At least we made her have lots of fun before we go in. Hopefully, it's not all broke. Oh, wait, who is this look snitch-looking bitch? Oh, it's Renee Litter. Ooh, we don't trust her. I always call them the Litter family, because that's just what I think they is. They just cats pissing on them, so. So time is fast forwarding. It looks like her job performance is going up. Uh, we lost friendship with people for some reason. We too busy working hard, but her performance is going up just slow. Her mood is shit, so that's unfortunate. I'm checking in on Vlad, because he's been asleep for a while now. I'm going to wake him up. And I'm going to see if we can do a stakeout. It's super, super cold. But I'm going to try and do a stakeout. Let's change into his outerwear because I don't want him doing a stakeout in the wrong clothing. He still looks like he's, like, made in the mob and whatnot. So, I would figure the best place to, like, stake out somewhere is, like, maybe, like, a crowded area. Like, a bar or, like, a park. I don't want to do anything in a park today, though, because um, it's too cold. And he could stick out the warehouse, but it's too cold. So we're going to go to Whalen's Haunt. It's right next to the criminal warehouse. So I'm sure criminals go in there, pop in to get a drink. And we'll be inside, so we'll be, like, away from, like, the snow and whatnot. So we're going to go there and do a stakeout and see if any criminals pop up. That's not really how it works. You literally just, like, like you stake out. You, like, hide behind fake bushes. But I'm still excited to do it, though. <laughs> I feel like actually you can't stake out inside. Oh, we, we never did these bills. On on her way home, she could pay the bills. Because we didn't do that. And I do feel bad about it now. Oli needs a flu shot. Because she's sick. Not my problem. You're an evil criminal, Oli. I don't care if you got the sniffles. Uh, It says something about Oli's job, but I missed it. Yeah, she's working hard and ain't nothing happening for her. So I'm gonna let her conspire with her accomplices. Okay, so we are up in this gig, y'all. We are up in here. And he wanna have drinks. He wanna, like, he still wanna have that damn baby, though. Okay, forget about the drinks. I don't know if anyone in here is a criminal. There's some famous people in here, though. She played... Can I stake out outside? That's that's just what I need. Okay, you can't stake out inside. But is he going to do it with, like, a bush? Because that's weird if you're going to, like, pretend to be in a bush. Oh, my God. You're not inconspicuous. You are just the worst. You're the worst detective. You're the worst criminal. At least he's indoors staying warm. Oh, my God. Did you see the way that guy looked at the guy? Look at him like, okay. Okay, there's a dude. Like, look at him. He's like... Like, look at him, he's like, okay, that, that dude thinks he's a bush. He, he's hiding out, he thinks he's a bush. This is totally normal. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, and he, you can't even stay a bush well. Is everyone noticing he's a bush and just ignoring him out of politeness? That's really nice. It's terrible, though. He's really, really bad at it. Um... Oli has not gotten out of work yet. She's talking to people that she works with. Like, they're friends, so I guess she talked to him enough. I'ma study the family because there ain't nothing else she could do. She's not, she is not even close to getting promoted today, so. Uh, if I had a partner for these stakeouts, we could try the whole good investigator slash bad investigator routine. I wonder which one I'd be. Okay, so he's just having random thoughts to himself while he investigates. I don't think you can investigate with a partner, though, can you? I wouldn't know. I've never 
played this career to like the top. I need to do that one day. Just do all these careers in my free time. Oh, that's right. Free time is usually spent doing better things. Whoa, that was bad, sir. Okay, get back to your stakeout, please. Is this giving him job performance? Like, is this giving him the experience he needs? Right now, that thing looks like it's right between the P and the E. So next time I check, I want to be, like, past the E and go into the E and the R. You feel me? I'm also waiting for, like, criminals to walk in. But they're just randoms. Paparazzi's here. Um, this area isn't proving useful. I should run and stake out somewhere else. Okay. So, staking out here, he just said, like, it's not working out for him. Let's go somewhere else. I felt like there was a lot of people and there was a lot of potential there. Like, I don't want to have an outside in the cold, though. But, like, I guess, you know... Can you stake out in a building? No, you cannot. Right, yeah. I figured. Stake out here then. Outside, stake out. I tell him to jog, though. Especially not that outfit. You were going to freeze in that outfit outside. Picked the wrong career to, um... For winter time, I tell you that much. So now we behind the criminal warehouse doing a stake out. He's feeling fiendishly evil, though. Fiendishly delighted. Oh, shoot. Someone is going in there, though. Do low-level police work. Uh, we will. We will. Um, let's get rid of that take candy from a baby, because he's not supposed to be that bad guy no more. In fact, can we go right here and stake out? I want to go right here and stake out. Because if they're literally walking through this door, I'm going to pretend to be a bush by the front door. Because we missed that one dude going in. I hope more people... Oh... More people's coming. More people arriving for their shift. Ooh, it's a vampire chick, too. Yeah, she just walking up. You don't see us. You don't see us. We're a Christmas bush. You don't see us. She looking dead at us. She didn't shoot or anything. Okay, so the maid service is look like it's leaving. We're gonna leave him there for a little bit. She's getting out of work soon. I mean, her work stuff is just terrible. The family literature is still bad. That that didn't help anything. Practice illicit activities. There's uh, these stakeouts are nothing like in the movies. No, they're absolutely not. You're you're absolutely right. But you better keep doing it though, cause we're finally past the E. We're like at the E and the R. So he is getting points for this. So I want him to keep doing it. And she's about to get out of work. Become good friend with Stella. Stella's a criminal. She wants to earn a promotion. You're going to have to work a little bit harder to get that promotion, though. In fact, what time was she supposed to get out of work? Oh, she gets out in two minutes. Because, you know, sometimes with these mods, they be broken, okay? So she made $300. She definitely did not get promotion. Now she want to go to France. She want to rob the French. That's just rude. They are allies. Okay, hold on. See, his whole life is becoming about his career now. Conduct um several stakeouts. Okay. I mean I think honestly he should need to give up his his great hope of having a baby with Oli. I don't see it happening. But uh, he's holding on to his hope. I mean, technically he didn't say I want to have a baby with Oli. He just said I want to have a baby. Uh have his first child. Maybe he can have a first child with somebody else. Okay. So he could, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, snap. Why would you stop staking out at the perfect time to, like, stake out when they're, like, criminals? I want to go where they go and follow. Because they definitely criminals. They were definitely being criminals, yo. So did that count as he did one stake out? It didn't even count as him doing a stake out. Oh, 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 someone else is coming. Someone else is coming. Okay, we got to get back on our stake out mode. Yeah, yeah, become a bush again, because someone's coming. And they're not to be trusted. Only at home, she paid the bills, their food in the fridge. She already know to go eat. She already know. Why would you prepare food? She's so, she's so stupid. Only know that we have a chef now, and that the chef made tons of food, and the food is in the fridge. And the maid's still here. Maid ain't leaving. Here, just eat some leftovers. We got vegetarian dinner, girl. Like, after that, she can absolutely go to bed. 
and then wake up in the morning and then practice logic on a computer to increase her fun and her logic skill. Because she almost had it last time. But we doing this stakeout. Because I saw someone coming. I think they might have already walked in while I was taking care of, of dummy Oli. But, um... No, there's a guy here. No, there's a chick here. Joanna King. She's, like, broken. Oh, we still got all the violent stuff. We're not gonna hurt her, though. Uh, a bird in the bush is worth two bushes in the hand. Wait, what? Yeah, because that's not how that works. It's quiet. Too quiet. Okay. I thought she's not broken no more. Where's she going, though? Is she coming here? Oh, there is a person right here in front of us. And we just hiding out in this bush. Well, we are the bush. We are one with the bush. Oh, mad people are coming. Is that Stella? Yeah, that's the wife's friend. There's Gunny, dude. They're having conversations right in front of us. That's hilarious. Oh, they're telling secrets. Oh, wait, what? We just saw something. We actually really just saw something. Wait, is that stuff poison ivy? Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Why would you stop now? But we figured out something. I don't know why it's not saying. I guess you had to do the um, the uh, the stakeouts somewhere else. But whatever though. Um, we saw something. We saw them like being sneaky, talking shit, and like passing notes to each other. But um, but yeah, he's not getting like. The recognition for it, though. But I'm glad we saw that, though. I'm glad we picked the criminal warehouse. I thought if we were just in the vicinity of the warehouse. Because technically, you could do a stakeout anywhere. But I figured, like, if we did it at, like, the bar near the warehouse, someone might come in and do some sneaky stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to let him eat. And I'll probably send him to bed, too. Because I'm sure he'll get, like, something to do, like, early in the morning. Oli's asleep. She wants to learn how to make um, dim sum. But uh, you're not going to. She gonna walk on the computer when she get home. When uh, she wake up, getting chilly. Yeah, he was out in the cold for a minute. That was probably not the best thing to do to Vlad, cause he is cold now. But yeah, basically now he's just gonna eat and go to bed, and um, I'm gonna let him go do that, and we'll be back in the morning, hopefully to do more investigator stuff, and hopefully Oleander will um be moved up in her career a little bit. Oh shoot, she doesn't work for three days. She just gonna be working on her logic then for three days. And he, he works pretty much every day, I'm sure of it. So, yeah, we'll be focusing on Vlad tomorrow. Oleander will just be focusing on her logic. So, yeah, we'll be back in the morning.